It's Sunday, September 16th, and here are three choices for today. Beijing Flickers is from the Chinese director Zhang Wan, and if you want to know what contemporary urban China is like, this is the film you need to see. It feels like it's really lifted from the streets of Beijing right now. Story essentially of a romance, and very much in the style of a Wong Kar Wai film. This is a, a romance that's shot in very beautiful, fluid colors and, and beautiful uh, camera movements as well. Um, but uh, between a young woman who's a bit of a rock star and the man who is desperate to have her, but feels like he's not good enough for her, and essentially it's all of the different uh, stages of their relationship. But really what you have in Beijing Flickers is a portrait a snapshot, really, of Beijing right now, a city that's undergone such enormous transformation in this course of a generation. People who grew up with very little suddenly have all kinds of affluence around them, have all the contemporary things that, that we have in the West, and are struggling in terms of how to deal with that. And you see how that affects this young couple as they try to find love with each other. The film is called Beijing Flickers from Zhang Wan. London, the Modern Babylon is a documentary from Julian Temple, and it was made to coincide with the London Olympics of this past summer. But what you find here is a portrait of the city of London through the moving images that have been made about it. It begins with the, the, the first moving images, the first movies in the uh, late 19th century of London, and goes up through the present, charting the history of London as it changed and as it became a city that was more and more diverse, more and more mixed in terms of the, the, the influences coming in and out of the city. This is really Julian Temple's idea of London as a, a multicultural, a polyglot, a, places, a place where immigrants have always chosen to congregate, a place that's seen lots of conflict as a result, uh, the, the waves of immigration that came from South Asia or from the Caribbean or Africa in the 1950s and 60s, the more recent wave from Eastern Europe and other parts of the European Union, how all of that has affected the cultural mix of London, what it's like to live on those streets, and of course you've got incredible uh, uh, images to accompany all of that from the, the British invasion of the 1960s through the punk era, the reggae movement of the 1970s, um, the Thatcher era, all of those things are in this film, and he's got great footage and pulls it all together into a kind of kaleidoscopic portrait of the city of London. The Last Supper is the new film from Chinese director Lu Chuan. Set during the Qing Dynasty, this is the story of, of battlefield warriors who are also having to deal with court intrigue in the royal court at the time, and it's the conflicts that happen both on the battlefield and in the, the chambers of the royal court. Uh, but instead of focusing just on that, I think what Lu Chuan is able to do in this film is to show how those uh, conflicts from so many centuries ago also reflect what's happening in contemporary China and in other parts of the world as well. This is essentially a story of betrayal, of pride, of honor, and it's shot in beautiful uh, panoramic uh, widescreen images. Lu Chuan is really one of the great visual stylists of his time, and he's delivered another wonderful film. We're very proud to have the world premiere of The Last Supper.